This is real wasabi. Oh, it's like thick. Whoa. <laughs> I don't that. Oh, it's really spicy, Yuli. Oh, but it's good. <laughs> and these are wasabi flavored. Holy sh these are hot. Holy sh Welcome, Welcome to, to Flavor, Flavor Binge. Binge. If you're just here for the binge, you can skip to the next chapter, but stick around to find out what wasabi actually is. Doesn't, does not smell spicy at all. Yeah, has a bit of like a carrot vibe to it. it smells nice. It smells like the stuff you're used to seeing with your sushi, but maybe a little bit sweeter. Raw wasabi. Yeah, I'm definitely tasting it. Ooh, but that's not how you make wasabi, guys. Without a grater, you can't break the cells down properly and therefore you're not releasing all the chemicals to get all of the flavor out of it. Wasabi stores two molecules in two separate compartments which mix when the plant is broken down to activate them, kind of like snapping a glow stick. I don't know if I can get like a paste off of this, but I'll try. Yeah, whoa. Like it's like significantly hotter. But there's a problem. Most of the products you buy advertised as wasabi flavor actually contain little or even no wasabi. Some experts have even estimated that 99% of the wasabi eaten by Americans is actually fake. There's two main reasons for that. One of them you'll have to wait 30 minutes for, but the other will tell you now. Real wasabi is very expensive. A kilogram of fresh wasabi can cost up to 250 bucks. This little piece right here is 52 grams. What is, so what, how much is that? This is mostly due to how hard it is to grow. Wasabi is a super needy plant. It can be killed by the slightest change in temperature or sunlight. Same. So what do food producers do instead? Well, they tend to use horseradish. It's a plant from the same family as wasabi with plenty of allyl isothiocyanate. I've never seen one in person before and it looks kind of like a really thick wizard's wand. I'm not gonna say the other thing it looks like on camera. Horseradish is way cheaper than wasabi. This 200 gram piece cost me one pound 85 or about $2.45. The same amount of wasabi would cost you $50. This is like the smallest piece they had. Look at this. Look how big uh, this thing of horseradish is. It's like a leg of a baby grand piano. Let's put it to the test ourselves and make our own fake wasabi. It does smell pretty similar to the wasabi dip when I chopped that. Ooh, I felt that. Do we have a hammer? Oh, there we go. It's hard to get a firm grasp on. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right, rest of this goes right in the trash. I'm gonna add a little bit of mustard. Think that was too much? What do you think? A little too green? So here is my homemade fake wasabi. And it does kind of smell like wasabi. That's exactly, oh, I can feel it in my, na my nostrils. That's exactly what I would expect. In both the US and the UK, you can get a range of wasabi powders and wasabi pastes, but with varying amounts of actual wasabi in them. Don't know what we're gonna do with a kilogram of 2% wasabi powder after this shoot, but. The only 100% pure wasabi powder I could find in the UK was from a website called Just Ingredients, but it cost 844 pounds per kilogram, so we've decided not to buy that one. This gigantic bag seems to have zero real wasabi and only has horseradish and mustard listed on the label as flavor. Ugh, woof, it doesn't smell like uh, wasabi. Yeah, already a much different, a much more pleasant odor. And just look at the pot, you can totally like visually tell the difference, right? The hundi, oh yeah. This, whoa, it actually smells pretty nice. That's got the strongest taste of anything I've had so far. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, 100%. About as spicy, but it's like a lot earthier. Go ahead, look how happy this guy is. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's just thrilled. He's thrilled to be here. We all are. 
We'll start with this one from S&B, which contains just 4.5% real wasabi. That's enough wasabi. Oh man. So this is the real wasabi. Oh, it's like thick. Look at that. Look how thick this is. Whoa! <laughs> I don't have. Oh! <laughs> it's really spicy, Yuli. Oh, but it's good. It's actually really good. And we got this one from Utaka, which contains 5% real wasabi. I learned nothing. Mm. Oh, God, it's premium version, which contains 65% real wasabi, which is pretty good. <laughs> Why does that put two bits in it? Wow, oh, damn. I can definitely taste the difference. I can definitely, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I can taste the difference. And this one is way better. But I do like them both. Boy, this is really good. I'm surprised by how much I'm liking this. Sweet, let's try some wasabi crisps. I've actually got really high hopes for these. I feel like wasabi and beef would be a good combination. We put a lot of like horseradish sauce on our beef in the UK, so this seems pretty good. Ooh, that smells good. It smells beefy. Ooh. The first thing I get is wasabi, but then it kind of dissipates pretty quickly. And then you get this kind of like beef. There's some sweetness to it. I don't know what's causing that. Woof! No. Wait. I hate them, but now I kind of like them. Next up, we've got these Demon Slayer mini snacks, which I think are like little crisps kind of stacked in a tube. I don't know what Demon Slayer is. Judging by the guy up here, it's probably an anime, but I don't know if I'm wrong. Oh, look how little these guys are. Look at those. It's kind of like tiny Pringles. Like mini Pringles. Weaker wasabi flavor. Quite a lot of wasabi from that. This looks like dried pasta. See that? You know, I would have said sweet and wasabi don't go together, but they actually kind of do. So I think these are very out of date. I think they may have gone off in March. These are Doritos Wasabi Risk 5.0, which I think are from Turkey. They don't really smell of wasabi. And they just kind of look like a standard nacho cheese type Dorito. Yeah, that was just a cheesy Dorito. <laughs> That's anticlimactic. Turns out, once we've translated the bag, that only a couple of the ones in here are actually wasabi flavored and are very spicy. So I'm gonna have to basically keep eating until I hit one. Yeah, that one was wasabi. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that tasted like they've tried to put wasabi on it, maybe before they went off. I definitely have got some wasabi flavor from this bag at some point. I just can't tell exactly where it's come from, which is a bit disappointing. Oh, these look like Cheetos. Uh-oh. Whoa! These are super spicy. Oh, wow. But I kind of love them. Yeah, dude. Once you get used to the wasabi flavor, it's kind of awesome. Oh, it's tingling. That was underwhelming. Uh, next up is these Koikea Wasabi Nori potato chips, which actually sound really good. Ooh, great color on these. Look at this. Nice green boy. A subtle combination of soft and sharp wasabi with a touch of sophisticated mild nori. Mm. These are really good. You get wasabi, but I think they're right. It's quite a soft wasabi. I don't even know what this, I don't even know what, I mean, I'm assuming this is a, guy, this is a wasabi guy, right? So these are Korean wasabi snacks. Uh, take it back though, it's actually really good, dude. Like we have crab chips, and we have shrimp chips. 
as, if I can recall, I've never had fish flavored chips. This might be the worst thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> There's little crabs. Look at these guys. If I got these regularly, I would no problem eat this whole bag. Wouldn't even, wasabi wouldn't even slow me down. Shrimp versus shrimp. My ears are starting to ring. <laughs> I think my body is starting to fight back in my side. Oh, these are like little puffs. And then, I don't even taste wasabi. You, I've been looking forward to these. I've been looking forward to these. These look like they're popular. I like the shrimp chips. Taste the shrimp. It's like, I mean, I'm not tasting any wasabi in these. They're very little. Puffy, puffy crisp. They're little puffy things. Look at that. Why, my only question would be, why would you serve that in a can if it's not a Pringle? Look at that. It's like a little Cheeto thing. There we go. I mostly get sweetness from those. I don't know exactly where that's coming from. There is definitely some wasabi, but also, again, like not particularly hot. Out of all of these, as far as wasabi balance, I like these. These were good. And what was the one that I insisted you guys have? This. All three of these. Great balance with the wasabi. They added it in perfectly. These three are good. Well, I'm gonna have a few more of these. Crackers and seaweed. Uh, tempura crisps, crunchy and savory seaweed. Oh yeah, it says seaweed on here. See? No. Nope. No. First up, we've got these Itsu Crispy Seaweed Thins. Itsu is like a chain in the UK that does Asian food. That's pretty good. Wasabi. Oh, look how, how unfun this is. Ah! Oh. It's a seaweed part today, to be honest. Next up, we've got these Ocean's Halo Seaweed Thins. I mean, they look identical to the previous ones. These are very salty, but I get almost no wasabi, especially compared to the Itsu one. Why are we doing this? Is this... Why are we eating seaweed? I don't know. Nope, as bad as the other ones. Then finally we got some Marks and Spencer seaweed thins. I think these are the most wasabi of the ones that I've tried. Probably second place to those, last place to those. Korean seaweed snack, wasabi. All the seaweed was trash. Then we've got some crackers. It's another Itsu offering. These ones are prawn crackers with mild wasabi. I get a very small amount of wasabi. Honestly, I don't think it's like a worthwhile addition to a prawn cracker. I think they're already tasty enough as they are. The first thing I tasted was wasabi, but that did disappear pretty quickly. And then it's just kind of nice, sweet rice cracker. Not bad. Right, give me something fun. Get this, get this horrible seaweed taste out of my mouth. Ooh. Yeah. A <laughs> lot. Holy these are hot. Holy s Oh! Oh! I can't have a second one. Oh! Ah! I think you don't get to choose how much goes on these. Oh, God. I think we get to choose. Oh, no. I don't want them. I don't like this. That's far too much. Are you insane? I feel like this is a revenge for how difficult I am to, to work with. Yeah. I hate. <laughs> I hate everything about this. First up, fat-free wasabi Dijon dressing. Ugh. Yes, this cracker's been marinating in the sauce. Nope. Well, I can barely taste the wasabi. Oh, there it is. It's obviously got the texture of mayo and the kind of creaminess, but then does still have a fairly strong wasabi taste coming through. 
not two things your brain kind of expects to be associated with each other. For real? <laughs> this much? That's just like more mayo than I want to put in my mouth at one time. What's up? You mustard. It's got that. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I don't like that. You mounted a wasabi ranch. <sighs> I'm getting very little wasabi from these. I wonder why that is. Now the texture of this is bizarre. It's got all these weird lumps in it. Like what is, I don't want that from a sauce. 0.3% wasabi. So I'm assuming it's not gonna be wasabi. <laughs> It's not spicy. It's just unpleasant. <laughs> Chunky sauce that tastes very salty. A versatile condiment with a, I love this, velvety zing. All right. Oh, oh wow. It was velvety. And it did have a zing. Hey, Kikoman copywriters, you're doing it, guys. And then last but by no means least, we have this one, the wasabi -o hot sauce. <laughs> Ugh, man. Ass-kicking wasabi hot sauce. Look at that donkey. That is an ass that is kicking. It also says habanero on here. <laughs> Wish I knew that before you dumped half the bottle on the chip. Oh man. Oh crap. Ah oh, man. But I, I like it. This goes in the Joe Spicy Hall of Fame. Whoa. This is a maybe, I'm not gonna add. Yeah, I'll put this, I'll put this in. These were kind of all bad. I don't think I would eat any of these out of choice in the future. I'd say the wasabi mayo and the hot sauce were maybe like a two out of five. And these ones were both like a one out of five. How do I look? I look like I'm, I feel like I'm like losing a fight. <laughs> peas and nuts, peas and nuts. Gonna die a bunch of peas and Let's do a lightning round style ranking of all of these by Spice. Five out of ten. One out of ten. Six out of ten. What's that word right there? I know it's really lightning round. What's that word? What's that word? Read that loud for me. Hell no. I'm gonna get a zero. Two out of ten. Wasabi edamame. Zero. What is happening here? Seven out of ten. Wasabi almonds. Point five. Five out of ten. Wasabi coated peanuts. I'll give those guys an eight. Two out of ten. Four out of ten. Five out of ten. Three out of ten. I'll give that a one. I think I could easily handle ten wasabi pizza ones. Wow. Ten's nothing. I'll do twenty. Come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. ah. If I put fifteen to twenty of these in my mouth at once, that ups the scale to like a four. Three go out. A handful. Oh, oh, that caught me off guard. I almost peed myself a little. Those are so spicy. <laughs> oh man. Now we're heading into some of the more weird and wonderful wasabi flavored snacks out there, and boy, do we have some surprising combinations. I'll start with a banger, which is wasabi cheese. It smells quite, quite heavily of wasabi. It's extremely rubbery, like super plasticky and has that very quite threatening green wax on the outside. Yeah, that's um, that's not, not for me, I don't think. It's just like I say, got the texture of quite a rubbery cheese. 
with a fairly strong wasabi aftertaste. Not really spicy, just that kind of like earthiness that you would maybe get from actual wasabi. I too also ordered the wasabi cheese. It has not arrived. I received an email a couple days ago telling me that's not gonna get here until February. But what I did get is this vegan jerky, wasabi flavored. I don't want this at all. Meatless jerky, we did it! It doesn't smell good. It smells, I know you can hear me because you have headphones on. This smells real bad. Oh God, I hate this. Meatless vegan jerky is terrible. Uh, and no wasabi flavor in that at all. Next up we have this one. It's Mike popcorn and it's wasabi soy sauce flavored. Greasy from the cheese. <laughs> hmm. That's actually quite pleasant. That's pretty nice. Calling this the mystery bag. I saw Harry also had it, so I don't know what I bought and what this is. Local translator Yuli Song is saying that this is fire flavored. Let's find out together. I don't know what this is. Uh-huh, yep. Ooh, uh, man. Uh, yeah, it's hot. That goes in the Hall of Fame. Now these ones with this very alarming packaging with the big warning label are Frito-Lay Forbidden Wasabi Spicy Snacks. These do kind of look like Cheetos. They also kind of look like knickknacks, which are a specific British brand of crisps. Let's give it a try. Okay. Yeah, wow. I can see why these are forbidden. That's pretty strong. Woo. Yeah, those are good. Those are actually spicy. We're doing, we're moving into the wasabi and sweets, wasabi and chocolate zone. With first, this just says Jackie's chocolates. Jackie, if you're watching, thank you for your chocolates. Jack, I've been eating wasabi all day, so maybe that's it, but next to no wasabi in this. But what have I learned from before? If you can't taste wasabi, just shove a bunch more in your mouth. Now with slightly less alarming packaging, but also supposedly very spicy, are these Raging Fire Wasabi Crackers. That seems like a waste of packaging. Lots of plastic here. <laughs> Woo wow, okay. We might have a winner. We might have a 10. <laughs> Those are powerful. Wow. <laughs> Hells to the yeah, Wasabi Kit Kats. I'm intrigued to see how wasabi meshes with chocolate, so let's give it a go. Ah, go, Joe. Oh, what's going on now? Oh. Mmm. I mean, it's delicious. I can't quite explain why. This might be the best tasting thing. And of course, we have this wasabi shampoo. If you watch Food Wars, and you thought in this episode, man, Joe's hair is looking a little bit nicer. Scalp's looking a little bit healthier. A little more bounce to that guy. What's going on? Your eyes do not deceive you. I've spent at least the last week this long using wasabi shampoo and this very head of hair. And I gotta say, it's pretty nice. It doesn't really smell wasabi-like, but yeah. I honestly have no idea how to incorporate this into the video, but there was a film called Wasabi starring Joe Reno. Uh, and I just thought it was worth mentioning. Yeah, I got it too. Wasabi, the movie. I don't know anything about it. I haven't seen it. I don't know what else to say. That's 30 minutes up. That means it's time to talk about the second reason as to why all your wasabi is fake. So yeah, in just 30 minutes, our wasabi has gone from that lovely vibrant green paste to this. It's kind of a slightly sad looking yellow and brown 
crusty little blob. And it has almost no odor. That's really weird. No, nothing. That's wild. There's so little, little flavor to that, wow. Wow, it's flavorless. Like it's, it's not even like kind of wasabi-ish. Completely flavorless, wow. There are a couple of ways around this volatility, like how some of the powders from earlier were freeze-dried to preserve the flavor. But if you're at a restaurant, unless you're seeing a rhizome being grated right in front of you, you're probably eating fake wasabi. I am sick of wasabi, are we done yet? Not yet, Joe, we've got one more surprise up our sleeves for you. Yeah, that's your cue to leave. Oh, okay, back in a second. Is that too much? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, the crew has set this up. I know very little about what is in any of these. I'm assuming some kind of wasabi based surprises in one of them, but we're going to find out. I'm going to pick one and eat it. Wish me luck. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's amazing fat. <laughs> oh. 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 my God, it's so bad. Oh, oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, check out our fast food chemistry episode where I made popcorn chicken using 42 ingredients.